Hello everyone and welcome to tax one of our SQL injection um, video series. So uh, in the last uh, video in this series we introduced the various tasks. I think we have 10 tasks in total. Yeah, we have 10 tasks. So an overview of each individual task was given in the, introdu in the introductory video. So if you missed out on this, I'm sure it should be somewhere in the playlist. In the channel, you can go uh, view that video and come back and follow along with task one. But you can also follow along without going to that video. Yeah. So task one, we're going to have a brief uh, insight into what SQLI is or SQL injection is. So um, you read with me here, we have SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language Injection, mostly referred to as SQLI. It's an attack on a web application database server that causes malicious queries to be executed. When a web application communicates with a database using input from a user that hasn't been properly validated or sanitized, this is an important aspect of this particular vulnerability. They run the potential of an attacker being able to steal, delete, or alter private and customer data, and also attack the web application authentication methods to provide or to, to private or customer Area. So areas that are private, that that's, uh, someone is not supposed to be able to view, then this particular vulnerability can give you access to those areas. This is why SQL is one of the oldest application vulnerabilities, and it can also be the most damaging. Yes, of course. So with SQL injection vulnerabilities, um, information in your database can be leaked and then this vulnerability can even be used to deface your website if you have um, a dynamic website that uses information from a database to update certain part of the website when it's vulnerable to sql injection actually this can be used to deface the website uh, so in this room you learn what databases are what sql is with some basic what sql is like what is sql with some basic sql commands how to detect these vulnerabilities how to exploit sqli vulnerabilities and as a developer as someone who manages a web application how you can protect yourself against this kind of uh, injection that is sql injection yeah so basically uh, it's just a brief uh, overview of what we are to expect in the coming uh, tasks so that's about it and then at the end of this task i think uh, we are prompted with a question to test our understanding of what we just uh, read so the question goes what does sql l stand for so if my memory serves me right i think sql we are told it stands for structured query language so structured query language so let's submit this to see if our answer is right oop, oop. yeah so our answer is correct and uh, that should mark the end of our first task so we have the first task completed and the end of this video so see you in the next video so that we can handle task two thank you